Okay, the computer is booting up. Okay, there's the three wear stuff. Alright. So this you can see here we've got a four drive RAID 5 configuration of 2.72 terabytes. Okay, let's go to settings and find out the firmware version. Information controller. Here we go. For the firmware version, as you can see here, we have got firmware version 3.08.00.0.0. Two. Okay, so now what we're going to do is exit from that and we're going to go done and we're going to exit. Alright. Now we're going to boot into Windows, which is in Windows Server 2008. It's already in the DVD drive. Now this computer has a USB floppy drive, uh, and in there is a floppy disk that's got the 9.5.0.1 drivers, 64-bit, for the card. Okay, Windows uh, Windows Server 2008, and we are down under in Australia. Okay, and next, I'm going to install it. Now I'll just type in the license key, so I'll pause it while I do that. Okay, I've typed in the license key. And now we are going to select the 64-bit full installation. Okay. And accept the license, click next. Custom. See on the option. Right, now you can see here that there's no disks available. So what we need to do is load the driver. Now, here's the copy drive. that in, there we go, and we are going to click load driver, okay, I'm going to click OK, so it automatically searches on the floppy, alright, and there we go, it's found the 9550SX on A drive. Um, in fact, we can see all the ones that it's found, but that's the one that we want. And we click next. And we wait. Okay, now it's brought up another dialog, same one as before, to continue use load driver function. Alright, now I'm pretty sure it does this if you uh, don't have any drives detected. So I'll click OK. And as you can see, there are no drives detected, so the load driver didn't actually work. So we'll try it again. So we'll click Browse, click Floppy Disk, OK. Now for some reason this time it's brought up two. So we'll click on the 64-bit one, and at 9550SX 
is well we've got actually got a 9550 FXU in this computer so we'll click next and once again same problem nothing so I'm going to pause it ok while it was paused I swapped the Windows Server 2008 DVD with a CD which has all sorts of drivers that I've downloaded from the Threeware website so I'm going to browse to that now and as you can see I've got heaps here now there's C 9.5.0.1 code set for the Windows 64-bit driver you can see that I've got that one selected OK I'm going to click OK and you can see here SATA RAID controller 64-bit version brilliant let's click next to see if that works same problem Let's try another one. Uh, we'll try this one. Okay. All right. Sixty-four bit. Yep. Let's give it a shot. nothing once again okay, let's try another one um, uh, I think we've tried all of them but anyway uh, what's this oh yeah here we go They sort of look the same. This one this is the first one I downloaded. I think this is the pre release one. So it's newer than 9.5.0.1 because it's pre release. Once again, absolutely nothing. No drives. Nothing. Can't do anything. So. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but uh, it looks like I've tried everything. So please help me. Tell me what I need to do. Tell me what information you need from me. Happy to do it. Thanks for your help. Bye.